Yo, yo, Jesse with Wax. Today we're going to talk about the resources on the Wax blockchain. If you've had any problems buying, selling, trading, transferring NFTs, it's because you need to understand how the resources work on the Wax blockchain. The basic overview is we have our Wax P tokens, and we use those tokens to buy and sell NFTs but they're also used to power the Wax blockchain. And powering the Wax blockchain just means that we can do transactions on the blockchain. Just for example, buying an NFT, you're paying for that NFT in Wax, but you're also using additional Wax tokens to allow you to conduct that transaction on the Wax blockchain. However, those tokens aren't spent, they stay in your account, but there's this concept of staking. There are two states on the WAX blockchain for your tokens. Unstaked, which is liquid, with liquid WAXP tokens. We can use it to transfer to an exchange or transfer it to another account to buy NFTs. We can also use liquid wax tokens to buy more RAM, which is the storage on your account. So the more NFTs you buy, the more RAM that's gonna take up. Now, when you signed up for your account, you saw you had zero wax P balance. This is your liquid or unstaked balance. All wax wallets come with some staked resources so you can conduct transactions on the network right away. And that is expressed in CPU and net. These 1% numbers, we've only used 1% of our available transactional power in this 24 hour period. So this resets every 24 hours. So it's telling us that we have plenty more transactions that we can do on the network right now. Don't worry about the difference between the two. Think of it like 10 to one. If you have 10 wax tokens that you're going to stake for more resources you want to put nine in cpu and one in net if you do a certain amount of transactions in a 24-hour period you may get an error that looks like this right here transaction failed build cpu time is greater than blah 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 so if you see that that means it's time to go here and put and put five or 10 or so wax P and CPU and one or two in net. That should give you plenty of more power to do anything you'd like on the wax blockchain. So let's see what's going on with these staking rewards. Did you get lazy and click this and saw all your tokens disappear? Well, your tokens didn't disappear. They only became illiquid, they became staked. So you got a big zero here, but you'll see this number increase if you do that. So let's go ahead and do this and learn how to, and get it back liquid so you can grab some more NFTs. So it says down here, we'll stake all your unstaked WAX tokens, proxy your vote, and claim your WAX staking rewards. So currently on WAX, if you stake your tokens, you will get a little bit of a kickback from the WAX blockchain. Don't worry for now about the voting and the particulars of the staking reward, just know that you'll get a bit of a dividend from staking. But if you click this, all your tokens will move to staked and you'll get zeros. Yes, you're, you're earning a dividend, but instead you may have wanted to maybe put a half or three quarters of your total stash to get those rewards while still leaving yourself a little bit more to do everything else you wanna do in terms of NFTs on the network. So to get some of our tokens back, we have to go to a different site, and that is wax.blocks.io, B-L-O-K-S, linked in the description below the video. We'll click login on the top right and select our cloud wallet while making sure that our cloud wallet is still open on another tab. So we'll see our account name up here when that's successful. The next thing we'll do is go to wallet. Look over on the left-hand menu here and click stake CPU net. Then we'll go here, and select unstake. We'll put our account name, which should just drop down with your account if you're logged in. Let's get some of it back because we want to leave some in for rewards. So we'll click unstake and we have a success. Now, if we go to account, you'll see the amount we've chosen to unstake is refunding. And we have a 
a time left countdown, which is three days. When, when this countdown is done, you'll go back here and you'll click refund and you'll get your tokens back in a liquid state. So that's it for today's video. The lesson here is if you want to participate in staking rewards, yet still want to leave some wax open to buy all the great new NFTs that are here and coming on the wax blockchain, do not get lazy. Click over here in resources, pick a fraction of your total liquid amount up here to stake. And if you ever want to unstake, go to blocks.io, wallet, unstake. If you have any questions, hop on our Discord. It's open 24 seven. You'll get an answer very quickly. Just want to thank you for being a part of our community, watching this video. I, I hope it helped and I'll see you in the next one.